Hey YouTube, welcome back to my show, The Leopard Cat. We are fun, sexy, fearless, independent, and always opinionated. I am here to do my long-awaited American Horror Story Trader review. This episode was pretty good, not as good as Return to Murder House, but I just wanted to show my face today to show off my new do. Just got it done yesterday, so let's get into this review. First, thumbs up the video and subscribe to my channel. I will be doing... The rest of American Horror Story Apocalypse, long as, along with makeup tutorials. And um, I'm going to try to do This Is Us or either the Good Doctor reviews. Starting from now, you know, not from the very beginning. Cause, or from the beginning of this season because I just don't have the time. But anywho, look out for that. Um, they start up this episode, I would have to give it like a 4 out of 5. Like an 8 and a half out of 10 or something. They start off the episode with Dinah doing this voodoo ritual. and She's cutting a woman's heart out. She puts it in a freaking blender, blends it up with some other strawberries. And we see this woman who has her husband like tied up in the bed. And they put a cylinder down his throat and pour the heart mixture into it. And I'm just like, what in the hell is going on? And basically, he she's like, yeah, that's what he gets for cheating on me. This ritual right here, she and Diana goes, this ritual. She's like, I don't want to kill him. She's like, yeah, this right here will only get him hard. He'll only get hard for you. And she's just like, good. You know, he won't be able to cheat anymore. You know, you can see he's a rich guy, and that's the reason why she still wants to be with him. So after that, um, Cadelia comes to Diana and asks her to meet. She wants to get a meeting with Papa Legba. And Donnie told her, um, I'm still mad at you for uh, getting our Supreme Maria Laveau killed. I'm still mad about that, you know. I really don't want to help you at all. And she was just like, you know, I'm really sorry about that. And in the end, she helps her. She's just like, you only elevated because she died. She was the more powerful one. You came to her needing fertility drugs. Like, she was way more powerful. So she's like, I need $100,000 if you want me to help you. And I was just like, it should have been more. Like, at least five, ten million. Anywho, I, I have to remember she's like the rich Oprah character. Because only somebody who was rich would charge that. That Only that. Dinah does the ritual and Papa Leigh what comes back with Nan. And Accordia is just like, I need help protecting my girls, you know. And when Nan popped up, I was like, oh my gosh. She was like, what's up, Cordelia, bitch? And I was just like, wow, I'm so happy she is back. Because I was just like, well, she was in bo both Murder House and um, Coven. But I'm glad she came back. You know, she just like, I like hell, you know. We we fuck up people and we do this and do that. And I really like like hell she was he was just like i'll help you but i want all your girls like i want all their souls you're like i got fiona i got nan but i want everybody else and of course cadelia's just like i can't do that you know then we see joan collins and um comes back in this episode she's filming a movie where she plays a girl named bubbles and she kills her husband you know and he's just like you know, I really don't want to do anything to make you happy. And she's just like, please, your peace not even working. She kills him with her granddaughter right upstairs. Her granddaughter's like, is he here yet? Is he here? Is Santa here? And he, she's just like, oh, not yet. Go back to sleep with his, his dead body right on the ground, right on the floor. And I'm just like, crazy. And um, they hear like on the radio or on the news that a crazy killer Santa Claus is on the loose. You know, she tells her husband, yeah, I've been screwing your business partner every year, too. You don't know how to please me. And I'm like, John Collins, you are something else. And a crazy killer shows up. And she, at the door, she locks the door. And he comes through the chimney. And then they go cut. And I'm like, oh, my God, I didn't even see this coming. Didn't even see it was a movie scene till it was over. Madison shows up um, on set. And she's beat being very shady you know Joan Collins Bubbles tells her oh you want to do the fans where you don't need any clothes and she was just like oh I thought you wanted to do the fans where it didn't even require any uh any color or any sound you know you're so old and I was just like wow we find out that Bubbles uh Joan Collins is clairvoyant she can read people's mind and so they um Myrtle and Bubbles, they sit down with the warlocks and she hears them thinking about how they want to kill the witches, how they're happy Cheyenne Jackson, John Henry character's dead and how they're just plotting to take over and, and just 
get rid of all the female witches. And, you know, she's just like, okay, we got something. Then we go back to New Orleans where they show the coven. They show Mallory, uh, the Queenie, uh, Zoe, um, Coco. And, you know, they're basically just... Coco comes down and she is like, I have a new power. My new power is I can tell how many calories are in each food i could tell and they're just like really and you know they do this test and she passes all of them i wish i had coco because i'd be like how much is this how much is that you know i would literally be so happy to have her around just to guess that even though that's a weird weird power but um you know that's still still a good handy power you know and she uh actually eats something and chokes to death None of them can help her. They have all these spells and stuff. None of them can just do the Heimlich maneuver or anything to help her. So she dies. Mallory, the Queen Supreme, comes, takes her hand, opens up her neck, reaches in, and takes out um the food that she was choking on, and then closes it back up, and she wakes up. And Cordelia comes down all week. You know, has to be assisted to come down the stairs and to be you know sit down and all that and they're just like you don't even understand mallory is the new supreme if she's not she's some type of angel or goddess i said that since episode four when she had michael laying and shook when she had him shook and he was scared like who are you and she didn't even know that like she is the new supreme she has to be and um Basically, she feels bad. They have this dinner, and Mallory's just like, I... She's kind of like a misty day. She's like, I really don't want this power. I am the most powerful one, but I want to use it for good. And I don't want this power if this means that Cordelia has to get weaker and die eventually, you know? And you just like... You know, it's just it's really sad that Cordelia didn't get to lead as as, as much as, as the other Supremes. You know, only lasted like five years maybe you know and we didn't even get to see all that i feel like she just became supreme at the end of coven and now her time is running out anywho they um the witches come up with a plan to stop michael and they go to the to where uh john henry uh cheyenne jackson character was killed and they ask mallory they like you know go in here and basically bring him back they do the seven wonders she passes all of that they don't know she's the, the Supreme. I don't know what is wrong with them. She is the Supreme. So basically, she goes there. She brings him back. And they find out. He, he's like, you know, your brother's plotting against you. They wanted you to. He was like, hold up. Wait a minute. They may have plotted against me, but a woman killed me. And they found out it was Miss Mead. And Cordelia goes to Coco. And just like, we need your help. And Coco is so crazy that she follows Mead around the freaking market. She goes there to get her uh pig hooves and everything all this weird food and satanic crap and then she goes to the car and she finds out that coco is following her and she stabs her and, and get, getting ready to drug and kill her but who shows up the coven the two albino uh warlocks or people who help the coven they come they get miss me they bring her back and um basically they finally have miss me and i'm like oh my god this is must be how she got killed and how michael turned into a a, war, a robot the warlocks have concocted this powder that kills witches it like makes them bleed out of their body and they they just fall ill just as soon as they get a whiff of the powder and they saying how they want to get rid of her and who comes in the supreme cordelia she comes in like what you said what now oh that's the powder you got guess what you this is not even your a woman concocted this you just switched around the genders and um as far as my power going on she does this and their lips just go away she's just like say it again say it again they just can't even talk and she just goes i am the supreme don't don't ever mistake my kindness for weakness so they go to the stakes and it's three stakes they got the two warlocks and they got miss me and they light them on Put the gasoline on him. Cheyenne Jackson goes, uh, may I? And he puts the gasoline on Miss Me. Just like she put it on him when she killed him. I was like, love it. Oh, my God. And then set it on fire. And she, Miss Me is just like, oh, my God, Father, I love you. I can't wait to meet you. Just doing all this talking to Satan. And you're just like, this show is just taking. And there are people in real life who are like this. They, like, look forward to hell and doing 
wicked things and they just I, I cannot with this but Kathy Bates you are playing the hell out of this role I love this character I can't wait to see you come back as um I forget her name Delphine whatever she was on Coven can't wait to see Maria Laveau come back for the season finale you know the reason why Coven was my favorite season not just because the witches and all that Angela freaking Bassett she's my favorite actress she was on there that's what made it another reason that made it my favorite she coming back on here for the finale I already know this is going to be my favorite season so if you want to see how I feel about the next episodes my opinion I want you to like this video leave a comment below on what you think is going to happen who do you think is going to stop Michael do you think they're going to be able to stop him who are you looking forward to seeing what you give this episode I really like this episode I give it an eight and a half out of ten I give it a three and a half or four out of five it was pretty good not better than last week's but i'm just looking forward to this week's episode because it's halloween and i will be doing a special uh, review for that so look forward for that tomorrow and um i will see you in my next video peace